No cap. I might just did some. Delicious. channel so for today's video we are going to be doing something different and I am going to be making a I'm going to be yeah I'm gonna be trying well I'm gonna say trying because I know how to cook so I'm going to be making a breakfast burrito and yeah this is just something that I decided to do I'm gonna start this new segment on my channel called Taylor made meals and I feel like this will be a really good first installment to this segment so i have all my ingredients out i will show you that show you guys the ingredients in a second but if you are interested in seeing me make this meal please continue to watch and don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel leave me a comment below and be sure to follow me on all my social media handles they will be in the description box below okay so let's get started all right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna wash our hands and you know make sure our kitchen area and everything is sanitized and clean. So I've already cleaned the kitchen and I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hands on camera so you guys can see me wash my hands. So, I already have the ingredients out, like I said. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and get the pots and pans that I need out. I'm gonna take y'all off this thing. Okay, so here are the ingredients that I have. I have a potato. You could buy the potatoes already cut up in um, little squares, but Corona Apocalypse, you know, has caused people to buy everything out of the grocery store, so they did not have those anymore. So I have to cut up my potato. I have some cheese. I am going to use turkey bacon um, in this burrito wrap today. I have two eggs. I'm not really the biggest fan of scrambled eggs, so I don't really use that many eggs when I'm making, you know, things with eggs. So then I have tri pepper mix. This comes with green, red, and yellow peppers. And then I also have some diced tomatoes right here. Um, and then I have the extra large um, flour tortillas, soft tortillas. So that's that. And now we're gonna get the pans. Basically, I'm just gonna use the small pan to cook um, probably my potatoes and then cook my eggs in there and I'll use the big pan for my turkey bacon and then to make the um, the flour tortilla hot. We good? We good, okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut up the potatoes. I already um, rinsed it off, so I'm just gonna cut it up. Y'all cannot see me cutting it up. Let's fix that. Boom. Oh. And I'm just gonna try and cut it up into like little squares. I'm not a fucking professional, so please, you know, bear with me here.
Now that we have that, So now that we have the potato all cut up, I wanna go ahead and put some oil in my pan that I'm cooking the potatoes and the eggs in, and also oil in the pan. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna spray the pan. <laughs> Never mind, y'all see, shit. So I have my seasonings out as well. I have my seasonings out as well. I have some adobo, obey, garlic powder, I have pepper, I have accent, and then I have Creole seasoning. Um, these seasonings I really use on everything. I'm like the type of person that um, doesn't feel like you can really over season your food. Um, I really like spicy food. Everything I cook just turns out to be spicy. Like I could make an omelet and it's gonna have some kick to it. it. That's just how I am. So, you know, just season it to taste. Season however you want to. You don't have to use what I'm using. But I'm going to put some olive oil in the pan that I'm about to cook the potatoes in. And then, you know, throw some seasonings on them. And then we're gonna get started with cooking. And then we're gonna put some ham in the other pan and get started with the turkey bacon because y'all know it doesn't take long for eggs to cook at all. Fire, I always, I don't know if this is good or not, but I always turn on my um, eyes before I put the food on there. I don't know what it is about it. It's just something I do just so as soon as I put the food on, it starts cooking. So I'm gonna season the potatoes. I'm gonna use some pepper. Okay, you gonna open up for me? Dang, I'm trying to embarrass me in front of the people. Just some pepper. We're gonna use some garlic salt and some adobo on the potatoes. I don't really use regular salt because I, I use so many other seasonings <laughs> that already kind of have salt in it. So I don't add any extra salt majority of the time and before i get started you know playing the music and stuff i just want to let you guys know i'm going to use about three pieces of turkey bacon in the wrap so i'm going to go ahead and take those pieces out So for the bacon, I'm going to go ahead with pepper. Adobo. Creole. <laughs> Let me add a little bit of spice to that. This is where the cake starts to come in and exit basically everything. Yes, sir. Okay, so while that cooks, I'm just going to go ahead and crack these eggs. And I'll be back when it's time to season the eggs.
All right, you guys, so for the eggs, I'm gonna use some pepper. Oh, shit. I wanna use garlic powder, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna do some Creole in the eggs. That was quite a bit. So, that's the season I'm gonna use for the eggs. Pepper, garlic powder, and Creole. I'm gonna stir this up, make sure it's, you know, in there. Y'all can't see. Um, and while the eggs are cooking, I'm going to add in the tri pepper mix and the diced tomatoes and the cheese, of course. So I'm gonna get a plate out for my potatoes because they're about ready at this point. And I'm gonna turn the heat up on the bacon. So the potatoes are nice and soft now. So I'm just gonna transfer them onto this plate. Take the pan off the heat real quick. Put this in the microwave so it can stay hack. And then I'm gonna get some butter real quick. Make sure it gets in there. And then I'm just gonna put the eggs. Okay, you guys can't see. Okay, I'm just gonna put the eggs in. Like I said, it takes no time for eggs to cook, so I will be back once the turkey bacon and stuff is done. How are we going to make this a burrito? This is so big. Um, like, for real. Okay, 
Okay, say say. All right, so the making a burrito, because this is really a lot. I probably should have did one egg. I'm gonna squish it all kind of together. And I'm gonna turn this off. Oh. Ah! It's fucking hot! Okay. Let me get a plate. Okay. <sighs> oh, bitch. No, you did not. I'm just trying to escape. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this away. Cause this was a lot anyway, so. We don't need this. All right, you guys, so here is the burrito. I'm gonna try and flip it over. There we go. Okay, I flipped it over so it won't fall out, but this is what it looks like. I'm about to cut it. It looks better like this, sorry. Okay. Can y'all see? This is what it's looking like. Yum. Okay, so now it's time for a taste test. Taste test, my mouth is watering. you guys so that is it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it um i hope it was entertaining and if you guys like seeing me cook things i really enjoyed cooking this i really enjoyed filming this video it was so fun and leave me some suggestions in the comments below of <clears throat> meals you want to see me make it could be something i never made before or you know something simple easy it doesn't matter so be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. What? Don't forget to follow me on all my social media networks. They'll be in the description box below as well. See you guys in my next video. Bye.